AI is taking the world by storm. Artists are shaking in their boots, not knowing what the future of their precious careers are going to be. It's been an ongoing thing for the past few months with AI just exploding exponentially. But I want to show you that it's not all that bad and maybe shift your mindset because we now have the capability to use stable diffusion directly in Blender. And the best part, it's totally free. So in Blender, I have the base scene here. And before we can start using Stable Diffusion, we need to install the AI render add-on. So using the link below, we can grab the add-on from Blender Market for free. And to install, you just need to come up to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and hit that Install button. Locate the add-on and make sure you click this checkbox. Now the very last step is we need to generate an API key, which is super easy. Just click the sign up button and it'll take you to Dream Studio, which is Stable Diffusion's web app. Don't worry, it's completely legit. I just use my Google account to sign up and it'll give you this API key. Paste that into the Blender add-on here. And now we can start making some cool renders. So to get this working, let's open the render properties. I'll set my render engine to cycles, come down to the option here and click enable AI render. Now we have all these options and we first want to set the image size to 512 by 512 pixels. And now I can show you the power of this tool. So I've made a very rudimentary landscape out of primitive objects. And the way this works is you have your text prompt and you have a preset style. So if you click this and open it up, you can see there's a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna try this solar punk preset and let's make the prompt sci-fi space station hyper-realistic. Now you can see if I pull this across, the preset style is also a prompt. So it's going to use both my prompt and this together to generate the final image. So all you have to do now is hit that render button and we get this. Now, if you want different results, all you need to do is either change your prompt or your style. Alternatively, you can also just come down to operation and click this new image from last render, and it's gonna create something entirely different. The real power comes when we start dialing in these settings here and force Stable Diffusion to use our composition that we've just made. Turkey Slurpee. So I've brought in a standard Mixamo character and I've made this prompt here. Now, if we come to image similarity, we can increase this so that the AI uses our composition even more than it already has been. This means the character and the objects around it will be used when generating the image. We can also increase the steps and now let's see what it comes up with. Just like that, we have this amazing concept art that we can iterate on pretty easily, but there's still one insane way that we can use this tool and the results get pretty wild. <laughs> Using this image that we've just created, we can generate even more images simply by coming down to the operation tab and clicking this button, new image from last AI image. And this is something you can do over and over again until you get the result that you want, which is just insane. So artificial intelligence is obviously evolving exponentially. But with that said, there's still a long way for this to go before it gets to those perfect final renders. And if you wanna get perfect renders, you'll need to watch this video right here.